everybody! My name is Sarah and today we're going to be doing some easy yoga and stretching. So we're just going to wait for some more people to join and then we're going to get started. I hope everyone's having a good day so far. Um, we were actually supposed to do outdoor yoga today and I was really looking forward to it. But about one hour ago, it started to rain. So the sunshine that was here this morning is just gone. Now we have rain. So no outdoor yoga, unfortunately, but we're still gonna be doing something inside. Hi everyone, welcome. So today we're doing yoga, but we're gonna wait a few minutes, okay? Maybe just three or four minutes. We'll start at 2.05. Hello. So yeah, as I was saying, it's rainy here. I wonder how is the weather for you? outside of your window right now what kind of weather do you have is it sunny is it rainy um, let me know because where i'm from the snow just melted and now everything is sunny and nice um, and then now it just started to rain so the sunshine lasted for like one one day now it's back to just gloomy that's okay um, okay so we're gonna wait a few more minutes um, what else can I tell you guys? So, hi. So I have a poem. Yeah, it's rainy. Yeah. That's too bad. Hopefully next week we can finally do an, another outdoor live if the rain is not here. <laughs> I hope so. So before we start, just to get in the mood. I'm gonna get on my yoga mat where we'll be starting off on the ground today on the yoga mat, just breathing. But I found a really cool poem about nature that I wanted to share with everyone. And even though it's a rainy day, even rain is a beautiful part about nature because it washes away all of the winter and it brings life again to the plants. So even rain is something that's, even though gloomy, it's beautiful. So here's a poem that will get us into the mindset for our yoga. Nature is everywhere. Nature is everywhere you go. Everything that lives and grows is nature. Animals, big and small. Nature is plants that grow so tall. Nature is beautiful in every way. Wonderful, exciting, and needs our care. So, listen, learn, and do your part to keep nature beautiful forever. So that's just a fun little poem that I found, and it's about nature and just being respectful to the environment. And yeah, so now we're going to start our routine. I think we're ready. We have some people watching. So what I'm going to tell you is you need to have just an open space for yourself. So if you're sitting down, maybe find a space to stand up or you can just make sure there's no objects around you, okay? So I'm gonna start on the floor and we're gonna start with our breathing. So as always, when we do yoga, our breathing is really important. So remember, when I say inhale, I mean we're gonna breathe in. So inhale is and I always breathe through my nose when I inhale. And exhale means to blow out all your air. So you can do that through your mouth. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, okay? So I'm gonna do three inhales and exhales just to relax my body and then we're gonna start. So I'm sitting with my legs crossed and my shoulders straight. So remember, when you're breathing, it's helping your, your body feel the stretch the most, that it, the most that it can, right? So we want to always make sure we're breathing in and out as we're doing all of the exercises, okay? Okay, so the first thing, hi. Hi, Kelly.
belly. The first thing we're going to do is stand up. Okay. So, we're going to start always breathing. Let's see. Hi. Hi, Kelly. So, we're doing our yoga. We're just starting. Um, we're going to start by doing inhales and exhales. And as we inhale, our arms go up to the sky and our hands meet. As we exhale, we bring them down to our heart center. Okay, and we're also following with our head. So watch this. My head starts at down, goes up with my arms, and as I breathe out, it's going to be at the middle. Okay, we're going to do five of these. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. So we're stretching our arms and our neck and our sides when we reach up. And then we're breathing out and stretching the back muscles here. Okay, so that was one. Two. Sorry, my hair got stuck in my arm. Three. Remember, breathe in. Okay, and final one. Let's do a big stretch on this one. Stretch, reach as high as you can, and then down. Okay, awesome. So now, we're going to get a bigger stretch on our sides. What you're going to do is, Put those hands back up and you're going to hook your thumbs so that your hands are like stuck together. So take your thumbs and make hooks on each other, okay? Then you're just going to step up a little bit and you're going to reach to the side. And you're going to breathe in and out three times, slowly. The stretch you're going to feel here, okay? Then we're going to go back to the middle, take a rest. Then you're going to hook your hands again. And you're going to go that way. The opposite way. Okay. Great job. So now, we're just going to stretch our hands and our arms. Let's see who's on here. Hi everyone who's watching. I think Gord, is that Gordon? Hello. So I'm just doing our yoga. We're moving on. We stretched our waist. Now we're gonna do our arms. So first we're gonna start with arm circles. Get your hands in front of you and you're gonna start making circles with your arms. Okay, we're gonna do 10 seconds. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Then you're gonna put your arms out to the side and you're gonna point your hands down, out, down, out, down, out, down, out. Okay? Now we're gonna do some arms. So, actually I can sit down for this, just to take a break. But for our arms, our stretches, we're going to take our arm across our body. Then we're going to use this arm to hold it up. And we're just going to stretch across. So Gordon wants to know where am I doing the yoga. So, I'm doing it in my mom's office so i'm in my house i was supposed to go outside for this but then um but then it started raining so okay switch arms gordon wants to be in the live which is totally possible just give me one second let me stretch okay so we switched arms put it across your body use your other arm to push it back Okay, 
Let's accept Gordon now. We're just gonna wait. I think. Oh, I don't think I did it right. Accept. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hi, Sarah. Yes. How are you? Good. Um, you good. know where I'm going tonight? Where? We're going to watch the game. Oh, right. The Leafs. Yeah. Leafs. Nice. How was last week? Good. Good. That's good. How are you feeling? Good. We're just in the middle of our yoga, I'm but I'm just doing I'm late. Pardon? I'm still like came on late. Oh, that's okay. We just, so we're doing stretches I like right now. I like your t-shirt. Hey, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my yoga shirt because it's comfortable. So I'm going to continue the stretches that we're doing, okay? So we are on our arms. So we have one more. Can I watch? Yeah, of course. You okay. can watch? Yeah, of course. Okay. Get your arms up. One arm up and touch the opposite shoulder and then you push on it with your other arm on your elbow. So you're gonna feel a stretch here. Okay? We're gonna do 10 seconds. It is raining out? Yeah, it is. What about you? Is it raining? Oh. Um. You know, you know the least in the playoffs? They are? That's good. That means there's more games. Yeah, and you heard about that shooting in the Nashville? Yeah. Yes, I did. It's very, very sad. I was upset. Yeah. Of, of course. Of you course. You too? Yes. Definitely. Really sad. Yeah, but don't. Don't do, don't have no gun. Yeah. No, you too. Don't, don't use it. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah. How you dog? My dog is okay. She's sleeping. Where? We went for a walk today in the forest, so she had a long walk. But she it was sunny. Yeah. Before it was sunny. So we went for a walk, and I thought I was so ready to do yoga outside. And mm. then it just started raining right when I was going to leave to go to the yoga. Mm. Go outside. Um, okay. By yourself? Yeah. And um, what are we doing next week? Next, next week is an art activity. Okay. Yeah. The last one, I'm going to do... I want to yes, go, I'm... if it's not raining, we're going to go outside next week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You me back? Anyways, let's continue. We're getting distracted here. Um, I have to show you guys my other poses. I found a new yoga pose. Maybe, Gordon, you watch this one time, you try it, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to admit, this is something I'm still working on. It's called the warrior pose. So... Somehow my camera got zoomed in. Hmm. Let me try to mm -hmm. move it back, okay, guys. I like butterflies. Me too. They're my favorite. Okay, now I think you can all see me. More. Let's move this. Okay. So, the warrior pose starts standing up with your feet apart. And what you're going to do is you're gonna face the wall and both of your feet are gonna be facing the wall and your head, okay? Then you're gonna bend your front knee and you're gonna stretch out that back leg, try and make it straight. And then Don't fall. And drop your shoulders back. This looks easy, but it takes a lot of, you need to, Take your time with this. So we're gonna, if it's too hard, you can also just keep your legs a little bit closer and you don't have to bend it. You can just raise your arm up and you'll still get a good stretch. Okay, bye. bye. Hey, Brian. Bye. You be at work tonight, right? Pardon? 
My friend Ryan. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is stretching my side and my back leg. Then I'm gonna switch. So I'm gonna face the other wall, bend the leg, and stretch out this one. So now I'm stretching the opposite leg, and you're gonna raise your arms up. And you're gonna hold it for three breaths in and out, okay? So I'm breathing in and out. And as I breathe out, the stretch gets deeper, which is really good for your body. So now, once you've done this warrior pose, because these are called warrior poses, so there's different types. So this one's the first one. Then the second one, your leg is going to face forward, and this leg is going to bend and face one direction. Then you're going to keep your arm out and you're going to look forward. So your leg, your arm, and your head should face one way. And it's you watch the game part. tonight? You watch the game tonight? I'll try. So is this a playoffs game? Uh, no. It's still a regular yeah. game, but they're going yeah. Raptors won yesterday. Wow, you really keep up with the sports. You think Raptors? Yeah, you know what? I should be checking, I should watch sports more. Yeah. yeah. But I'm you, glad you I'm my good. friend. Wait, would you consider that Toronto teams are good, like the hockey and the basketball team? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. Okay, let's see you what I'm doing. You do yoga. You're my friend. Hi, everyone. You're my friend, Sarah. Doing yoga, people. And thanks, Gordon. You're my friend, too. Um, we got to continue this. Okay, so we face this way. We're going to face this way. So our leg faces, but this leg is straight. So we're twisting. Then we keep our arms and our head up. I'm stretching here. Two. Three. Okay. Now, now that we are done those two poses, you can stretch more by bending your knee, putting your you elbow and your arm straight. Okay, so five seconds. Five. Okay, switch. So bend your knee, rest your elbow on it, and reach the other arm up to the sky. And your head. Okay, there we go. <sighs> little break and talk a little bit um i know i'm happy my friends follow me pardon i'm happy oh you're happy you yeah yeah wait what are you doing today other than going to the game anything i'm uh, going with my cousin with your cousin nice yeah. that's really fun yeah that's so and um, April is this weekend. I know April Fool's Day on Saturday. Yeah, and you then, you're joking somebody. I have to think of it. To so, your mom. Something, yeah, for sure. Maybe my brother. Yeah. Because he would fall for it. You love uh, your brother. Yeah. I don't know what to do though. I have to think of something funny, some prank. Yeah. We but your t-shirt. Hmm? Where did Where I get my um, Yeah. Some store online. This is like my, whenever I do yoga or like riding my bike. I don't know why, but I like this shirt. And it has butterflies. So. Yeah. Really good. Okay. 
Let's do some other leg stretches. They are so pretty bunch of lights. Yeah, they are. When you're sitting at your desk, you can get up and just stretch your legs. So here's a few different leg stretches. The first one is a thigh stretch. You need your table for it. So just put your hand on the table. Then you're going to lift your leg like this and hold it. Okay? So hold the table, lift your leg and hold it, and try to push your heel to your butt. Okay? And you'll feel a stretch here. So we're going to hold that for 10 seconds. Don't press too hard, just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then the other one. So you can hold the down. Ask again if you want it, but I can just, just gonna do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay, and then we have a few more, okay? Let's see. Okay. So why don't we do another type of hip stretch? where you bring your leg up across your knee. So I'll do it from the side, like that. And then you pretend to sit on a chair. So when you do that, you get a really good stretch here on your hip. So like here, okay? So I'm gonna sit <sighs> on my chair. If you need help with this, you can hold something. Okay, there we go. So I'm stretching my hip and I'll hold it for 10 seconds, breathing in and out, always. Okay. Hey, Josh. Let me switch. How are you, Josh? 10 seconds. I know Josh. Josh? Hi, Josh. From work. Okay, there we go. Some people Next. want me to try the yoga. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. So I have one more stretch, and then we're going to cool down. And we'll I hope Lee's win tonight. Yes. I, I hope they do, especially since you're watching. You're gonna you know Florida? Okay, so spread your legs out. Then you're gonna keep this leg straight and you're gonna reach over. This is called a triangle stretch because your legs are a triangle and your arm is a triangle with your leg, okay? You take her out again soon? No, not not now because it's raining. Later. Later, hopefully. Okay, ready? What time she laid down? Around eleven, eleven thirty, and she'll just sleep until the whole. Until the like four o'clock, the whole day. Why? Why? Did the account get Anyway, you, so you go lay down with her, maybe? May probably not. We have a lot of homework in these days. Uh -oh. The last two weeks of school, so all. Sometimes you lay down. So much homework that's why this yoga is very nice and relaxing right now so let's do the last stretches and this one is kind of like a cool down so when you're done you can do it you can also do this when you warm up so right when you start okay we do this before it's called cat and cows so you're gonna make a table with your back then you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna 
curve your back. Then you're going to go out and you're going to arch it. Okay, so we're going to repeat that five times each move, okay? So let's go. Let's start. So in, out, out. Mm -hmm. in, out. In, out. Last one. Okay? And then I'll show you a different pose. It's called the child's pose. You can do this pose to relax your body, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to show you. So you bend your knees. You reach forward and you take your arms and pull them as high up as you can and just put your head to the floor okay you can hold that for as long as you want just stretch out your body okay so that's the end of our yoga routine you working tonight no me yeah no 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 work no. on Wednesdays anymore. I used to do the art classes with little kids, but they had to cancel them because there wasn't enough kids that signed up this time. You mad? Not working. Next time. Yeah. That's okay. Next time. You miss the kids? Yeah. You know what? They were so cute. They're four years old. So yeah. they and like some of them, it's their first time in school, so they're really cute. But right now, I don't have any classes, and then only on Saturday, I do one drawing class, but with older kids. I um, really like it. I like it. It was good. We draw realistic yeah. things, yeah. Like really detailed. And one week, we're drawing dogs, so I'm happy. Finally. You, you go check on her after. Yeah. I, I'm going to check on her now, after this video. My dog. Is she will wake up? I know. I hope, so, okay. Now that it's spring, I really hope, I know it's going to rain a little bit. They always say April showers bring yeah. eight flowers. It so may say spring. snow. Yeah. Like some snow, some rain which is sad. I'll show you guys my window. You see the rain? Yeah. And just the gloomy day. Maybe that way your cat dog went to sleep. Yeah. Rainy night. My dog went to sleep. She's just ready. She's like, the weather good. I don't need to do anything. But Happy girl. That's okay. She very good girl. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. so we're gonna end here, but we have yeah. to Gordon. Yeah. The least better win today. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna check tomorrow morning to see the score and what happened. I hope they win. You'll okay? watch it. You'll watch it tonight. I'm gonna try, but if not, I'll at least watch the the highlights tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I will maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it with him. He always watches it. Yeah. Every morning. Did you see the game on the weekend, Sunday night? No. They won 3 2. Oh, nice. They played good? Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Okay, I'm gonna, I hope they win. And I hope you have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Go Leafs go. Go Leafs go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everyone who joined today. Mm -hmm. I hope that you're going to try out this yoga. You can go back and watch it again to see the moves, okay? No, we um, win. Next week. No, lose today. Hope not. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.